Hi everybody and welcome to How to Fix Your Beat Saber for the Oculus Quest Episode 2. Hey guys, welcome to episode 2 and I would just like to say if you have any specific questions you want answered and you don't have time to watch through the whole video, just go down into the description where each question will be timestamped and you can just go to that question and watch it through. And yeah, let's get right into it with question number 1. How do you record from inside the quest? Recording inside the quest is actually pretty simple. It's actually built into the quest itself. If you want to record like I have the Beat Saber on screen, I'll show you right now how to do it. It's really quick and simple. You just gotta click like three buttons. After I modded Beat Saber and opened it back up again, all I saw was a black screen. To solve this, just try restarting your headset. Is there a way to add songs from your PC instead of from the quest? Yes, but it's a bit complicated. What you have to do is you have to take your headset, open up BMBF from within your headset, then go to any web page of choice, type in your headset IP along with the port for BMBF. And if that doesn't work, plug in your headset to your PC, then all you have to do is open up the web page like you did in the other way, and it should work. How do I check what version of Beat Saber I have? Truth is, you really can't. The versions are kinda just by um, what sound packs they drop, and that's about all you can be able to check. You'll be able to see by a change in thumbnail for the game, but that's about it. But you can check what version of BMBF you have. When you uninstall Beat Saber, does it delete all of your progress? Yes and no. If you just uninstall Beat Saber, yes, it will delete all of your progress. But as you can see on screen, there is a way for you to back up your progress and then you can bring it back once you have updated or slash uninstalled your Beat Saber. I heard you could get banned by Oculus for modding. You cannot, but with that being said, do mod at your own risk because not all files are safe and of course, yes, you might void your warranty. After modding, my blocks got very laggy. This problem actually coincides with another problem, which is not being able to start some songs, where you can see them in your playlist folder, but when you click on them, nothing shows up. All you can hear is the music. There's one mod that will fix both of these problems, and that is the mod that is on screen. Where do I find the reset assets tool? That's actually a very simple one. Just follow what's on screen. Do I need the Quest version of Beat Saber? Yes. Yes. No. Yes. Side Quest is not detecting my quest. This is a problem on my end when I made the newer tutorial. I forgot to tell you to turn on developer mode. Turning on developer mode is simple. All you have to do is go into your app and turn on developer mode in your advanced settings. Now to turn on developer mode, you're going to have to create an organization. Oculus will ask for that. Um, you're going to have to put in an organization name and stuff. Just do like your username. The Oculus team doesn't background check this currently. So anything will work, just put it in and you don't actually need an organization. It's just to make sure for security sake for Oculus. I know today was another short one, but thank you all for sticking around. Hopefully this solved some of your problems with the new tutorial on how to install custom songs for the oculus quest and yeah i'll see you on the next one don't forget to like and subscribe peace out everybody bye